Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery. And they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Jaguar Espresso by Equator on the Barista Express Impress. Now, assuming you've selected the double filter button and placed a single wall double basket in the portafilter, we're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. See that little red bag up in the corner? That's Jaguar Espresso by Equator, and it's also in my hopper. This coffee is super chocolatey and has a really lovely smooth body. Let's dial it in together. My grinder is set at a 14. Yours may be slightly different, and that's okay. Don't worry about that. We'll get to adjustments a little bit later. Remove the portafilter and just dry and wipe it out. This grinder has a tamp assist system. This machine takes the guesswork out of dosing, and the tamp assist reduces the mess. Insert the portafilter into the grinder cradle, press the dose button, and purge the brew group for two seconds just to refresh the system. My brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee. We're going for 25 to 30 seconds of brew time, and that will yield just under two ounces in the cup. All right, let's tamp this coffee. The green light indicates I have the right amount of coffee. Let's give it one more tamp to polish. And there you have it. All right, wipe the edges of the basket. Just get rid of any coffee grounds that might be up there. Insert the portafilter into the brew group and press the double cup button. Grab your shot glass. We're gonna start at a low pressure, that's called pre-infusion, and go to high pressure. This is to ensure total sweetness in the extraction. Ooh, first few drops look great. We're getting all of the caffeine at this point, moving into some of those sugars. Each phase of the extraction yields something different, so it's important to get a full extraction. And finishing up, this is beautiful. Give it a little spin to cool it off. I drink a lot of straight shots, so that little spin can just take the temp down a little bit. Mm. There's like a nice spicy undertone, a smoky upper layer, and chocolate upon chocolate upon chocolate layers through this espresso. This is also gonna pair really well with milk. You're gonna love this espresso. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.